I'm going to start with a simple question. Do you struggle to set personal boundaries in all relationships in your life? If you answered yes, you're not alone. If you answered no, you have great values in life. For those who answered yes, then probably you were struggling in some way. Maybe you have a fear of rejection, guilt or confrontation, setting boundaries, or maybe you're ignorant that boundaries is very essential in relationships for a healthy relationship. Hey folks, welcome to Long Mind Channel. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm Devi Sundar, counselor, psychotherapist, respiratory physiotherapist specialized in plumber rehab. I'm also a health coach. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what are personal boundaries, why personal boundaries are important in relationships, types and domains of boundaries, and three tips to set healthy boundaries. What are personal boundaries? Personal boundaries are those set of rules or limits that a person creates that are reasonable, safe and permissible ways other person can behave around them or how they would respond when someone steps outside those limits. And personal boundaries help to define one's threshold of acceptable communication, behavior or interactions from others in domains of physical, emotional, intellectual, sexual, material and time. Especially it is very important around people's behavior with hard selfish intentions like screaming, yelling, holding a grudge, physical violence, trying to force someone to change, mm -hmm. saying no because that comes from an selfish, angry and hateful intentions. And also it's personal boundaries are very important around uh, people with soft selfish intentions. Like for example, in a dating relationship, when one person says, I love you, the other person says, I love you too. But this other person has an intention of breaking up with the, the other person. So it is not wrong in thinking about the breaking up here. But what's wrong here is not being honest and upfront and uh, not valuing the other person's uh, worth and not respectful of other person's feelings. Why boundaries are important in a relationship? A relationship should be an invitation, not as an obligation. Healthy boundaries are important to protect our self-esteem, maintain self-respect and have an equal safe space in relationship. Unhealthy boundaries causes emotional pain, dependency, depression, anxiety and even stress-induced physical illness. When you talk about healthy boundaries, how can you say one has unhealthy boundaries? Some of the characteristics of a person having a healthy boundary is having a high self-esteem and self-respect, value his own opinions, doesn't compromise values for others, shares personal information in an appropriate way, doesn't share overshare the information or undershare the information, and doesn't share to information too much information to a stranger very quickly, and knows their personal wants and needs and communicate them with uh, with an uh, acceptable and respectful way and confidently and truthfully says yes or no and be okay if other people say no to them and have an equal partnership where responsibilities and powers are shared and protect the physical and emotional space from others intrusion and suppress their needs thoughts and feelings and desires from others and also accepting that their needs and uh, thoughts feelings and desires are different from others and a person with an unhealthy boundaries um, can fall under uh, having a rigid boundaries or a porous boundary. A person with a rigid boundary avoid intimacy and close relationships, unlikely to ask for help, as few close relationships and very productive of their personal information and may seem to be detached even with their romantic partners and keep others at a distance to avoid the possibility of rejection. And a person with a porous boundary overshares their personal information too much and too soon with others and difficulty saying no to requests of others and feeling responsible for others' happiness 
over involved with others problems and dependent on opinions of others feeling very powerless and do not take responsibility for their own life uh, which reflects their weak sense of own self-identity and accepting abuse and disrespect from others now let me talk about the domains of boundaries so there are six domains of boundaries uh, physical emotional intellectual sexual material and time physical boundaries include our body sense of personal space sexual orientation and privacy boundaries are expressed through clothing shelter noise tolerance, verbal instruction, and body language. Some examples of physical boundaries are your preference of interacting with other person when you see the other person in the form of an handshake, hug, or a kiss. Uh, and the other type can be um, someone entering your home without notice and invading your fridge and room. And uh, in my personal experience, I had a friend knocking at my door without prior notice and i don't know how to say no at the time and uh, that is because i don't want her to feel uh, that i'm rude or mean to her so that is one thing which actually you're not valuing your self-worth and your personal space and letting others to invade your home or your fridge and uh, some of the other violations of physical uh, boundaries are uh, someone assessing your personal emails and files without your concern and someone not respecting your personal space another example i had is in my in my previous experience of work there was a work colleague who had a loud music during work hours in a workstation where six other people also work in the same office space and on that particular day, I was the only person sharing the office space with that person and the person didn't ask any consent for a loud music to me. And that is actually a violation of my personal space. Emotional and intellectual boundaries include the beliefs, behaviors, choices and sense of responsibilities and your ability to intimate with others. So emotional boundaries can be said is violated when someone criticizes, belittles or invalidates another person's feeling. And intellectual boundaries can be said it's violated when someone dismisses or belittles another person's thoughts or ideas. Some examples are not knowing how to separate your feelings from your partner's feeling and allowing his or her mood to dictate how you feel happy or sad. And this is uh, falling under the codependency. So you're letting other person determine how you feel. And uh, the other example can be um, sacrificing your plans, dreams and goals in order to please others. Okay, I had to, that sacrificing my plans um, for the comfort of my family and I'm not alone I believe so most uh, women's out there sacrifice most of the plans and dreams to comfort and please um, the other partner and not uh, setting up boundaries to share the responsibilities uh, which should be an example of a healthy boundaries for their children and uh, not taking responsibility for yourself and blaming others for your problem so um when something bad happens blaming the other person oh it is because of you this has happened and this happens in mostly in organization in workplaces where there is no set of rules or policies and if something goes wrong um the leader is blaming the staff or the colleagues blaming each other gaslighting each other and that leads to a workplace uh, traumatic situation. Now, the sexual boundaries refers to the emotional, intellectual, and physical aspects of sexuality. Healthy sexual boundaries involve mutual understanding and respect of limitations and desires between sexual partners. Sexual boundaries can be violated with unwanted sexual touch, pressure to engage in sexual acts, or sexual comments. Inappropriate touching and unwanted sexual advances um, can make you feel more belittled your self-worth and uh, also be threatened to experience or understand what is the real sexual pleasures. Material boundary. Material boundary refers to money and possessions. Healthy material boundaries involve setting limits on what you will share and whom you share with. 
And for example, it may be appropriate to lend a car to a family member, but probably not to someone you met this morning. So material boundaries are violated when someone steals or damages another person's property or a possession. Um, and or when they are pressurized to give or lend those possessions to other people. Time boundaries refers to how a person uses their time. To have a healthy time boundary, a person must set aside enough time for their different activities in their life, for example, work, relationship and hobbies. And so time boundaries are violated when another person demands too much of the one other's time. With the a uh, background of uh, the different types of boundaries and domains of boundaries, um, why one feels um, not able to set those boundaries, the challenges might be fear of rejection, guilt or confrontation, uh, ignorance of uh, the benefits of healthy boundary or they might be ignorant whether they have a healthy boundary. And safety concerns um, can be someone who is physically dangerous or threatening. Um, it, it is very wise to set boundaries, healthy boundaries with that person with the support of a therapist or um, a legal colleague like solicitor um, or a social worker. Are you ready for the three tips to set healthy boundaries? Let's dive in. Number one, nurture your self-esteem by focusing on self-care and self-respect. You might feel selfish, guilty or embarrassed to set boundaries. At those moments, you have to remind yourself that you have the right for self-care and self-respect. Don't let your fear, anxiety or guilt to challenge your self-respect and care. Be more present in the moment and accept your internal experience and focus on your values. Tip number two, practice assertive communication in relationship. By this, I mean when you identify the need to set boundary, do it calmly and respectfully in few words. Do not get angry, justify or apologize for setting boundaries. You're not responsible for other people's reactions. Some people can be controlling and abusive and manipulating and that make you feel uh, having a uh, mixed emotions of setting boundaries. Those are the moments you have to be very firm and do not send mixed messages by apologizing. Express your needs and wants clearly firmly and respectfully. Tip number three, value positive interactions with rewards. Develop a positive support system of people who respects your right to set boundaries. Express gratitude for people's positive behavior. Eliminate those toxic persons from your life, those who want to manipulate, abuse or control you. I hope you liked the information and shared in this video and if you do like this video please click that button like button there and do share this video with your friends and network thank you for watching i'm devi sundar see you in the next video